What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dwism Works back at it again. Uh, just bringing you a quick little video here. Haven't been with you guys uh, in a minute, but have had a lot of things going on. Um, so definitely wanted to kind of just share some of uh, those things that's been going on. Let you know that I uh, haven't gone anywhere. I'm still riding. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I have not been able to take advantage of a lot of the bike events like I thought I was going to be able to do. Um, I tried with one of the events here, uh, the Atlanta Independent Ride. Uh, that was a bust because of the weather. Uh, and also wasn't feeling it. I think I, I think the situation is I got I have too much going on personally. Um, so hopefully, um, and it's not bad stuff personally, it's good stuff. It's stuff like uh, selling a property and stuff like a uh, kid going off to college. Um, and just growing, maturing even more and more um, as I come upon, you know, celebrating a milestone birthday uh, next month. So just a lot going on. Uh, so I have not been able to do the things that I thought I was going to be able to do this summer. Um, but nevertheless, I haven't gone anywhere. Uh, still riding my three wheels. Uh, I know I mentioned to you guys uh, some time ago that I will be adding uh, to my bike collection, adding to the Riker and the Spider, the Riker and the Spider, and I still plan on doing that. Hopefully, that will take place next month. And as soon as that happens, I'll bring you the video content for that. Um, but I'm gonna share a little bit more about that in just a minute. But I just wanted you all to know that I'm still here. Uh, have not been able to get out there and mix and mingle too much with anybody. Um, have missed a lot of the events that's going on uh, in different cities, different states, and stuff like that. Even though I'm not a big fan of group rides anyway, because that's where accidents happen and things occur, because everybody's riding style is different, and some people are not as well versed on a on a motorcycles and don't respect it enough for me. Um, so I, that's a, that's a whole nother video. Um, I'm not I'm not too keen on the different riding styles and people not understanding road uh, the rules of the road and the rules of riding and things of that, of that nature. I think that uh. Perhaps it may have been beneficial that, you know, I do have the two wheel, I have a regular motorcycle license as well, uh, cause I've ridden uh, two wheels prior. So, um, and I find that with a lot of group rides and stuff, you start having a mixture, like new new riders who don't, only thing they wanna do is throttle and go, so. But like I said, that's another video, we'll talk about that later, but I did wanna share with you some things. I haven't done much to, anything uh, my bikes and stuff i want to show you those real quick and then kind of talk about what my plans and my thoughts are for next month as i acquire something new in celebration and recognition of uh, a milestone birthday for myself so i'll be right back at you don't go nowhere all right i'm back with you now see venom over there looking clean and i have my riker right here um but here's the thing um it's been so busy this summer that I have not been able to clean my my little area here. So yesterday I came down here for the first time in a long time and I started, I had to do some more sweeping and stuff. But you see there's a lot of stuff on the floor and everything. Uh, but this is my area. And I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for um, bringing in a new uh, recreational vehicle. I'm just gonna leave it like that in here so i'm trying to make some space i had all of this back area right here cleared at one point but with the sale of some property and stuff i had to bring some furniture over here like chairs and uh the dryer over there and some other stuff over here that um kind of taking up that space right now so i gotta work out getting that into another situation but that's not why we're here um <clears throat> i do plan on you know uh making that area look a little bit better as well but anyway the bikes but venom is right here um like i said nothing much has changed as you can see i'm still i still had that sports gauge uh cluster windshield cluster on there windshield i didn't I, I had the other windshield but i just i decided i just really don't care for it so uh, that's why i'm not using it but uh, Venom's still looking good. Uh, I did take the tire letters back off of the bike because 
Although I like the look of the tire letters, it requires too much maintenance to maintain uh, those tire letters. So I did take the tire letters back off of the bike. And then you see the Riker right there. Uh, still clean. I haven't written, that, that really hasn't been written in a while. I need to put it back on the battery tender. My battery tender is right there. Uh, and then you put that on, well, this one's already on the battery tender. Right there. I was trying to charge some other batteries over here. There's a battery that goes in the spider right there. This is a lawnmower battery. Let me plug this back up. Okay, but anyway, let me tell you my thoughts. my thoughts. What I'm going to do, I have the Spider, I have the Riker. So what I really wanted to do was wait and see what the new model year brings out. Since I waited this late, my initial plan was to get the 24 Can-Am Spider F3T. My wife told me she didn't care for the T too much. She, she wanted the sportier look. So then she said the F3S. So then my plans changed to getting getting the Can-Am Spider F3S. It's late in the year now, um, and the 25 model year should be revealed in the next couple of months. So part of me started thinking, thinking like, well, should I just wait and see what the new year brings? Um, and see if there's a new color schemes and see if there's any improvements or any tweaks to the 24 model. Just be patient. So, I think I'm going to do that. I thought I was going to do that. However, another curveball was thrown at me, and there's another bike of interest of mine. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The Harley Davidson Road Glide 24 has caught my eye as well. So, I'm really contemplating on, and I'm pretty much made up my mind that that's the direction I'm going to go. Is with the uh, Harley Davidson 24 uh, Road Glide. Um, the can Spider will not go anywhere. Um, my Riker will not go anywhere. Uh, I will maintain both of those bikes and just enjoy the best of both worlds. I think that's the ideal world for me to be a part of the can world and a part of the HD experience. Um, that Road Glide is just something special. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But um, as soon as I'm able to acquire that, which is hope hopefully be next month, I will bring you content on that um, as well. Um, and that, and that, that should generate a whole lot more videos um, because there's a lot of things that you can do on that. One reason for um, some of my videos kind of just taking uh, a downward spiral in terms of uh, how many I put out there is simply because I've done everything I pretty much want to do to my, my spider. Um, the Riker as well, and I, it's not really anything else much more that I really want to do. So I'm not going to keep doing things just to keep doing it. And I don't want to bore you all with just being redundant with the same content again. Like what to be aware of, be aware of what uh, what maintenance maintenance look like and things like that. And also there are a lot of other uh, content creators that are uh, producing producing content on those things as well. So I want to bring some new fresh things. Um, uh, in regards to the can -Am world and HD world, hopefully, preferably, if everything continues to go where it's going, that's what's going to end up happening next month for me. Um, actually went out yesterday and, and saw the one I wanted. Wife and I went out and looked at it um, and kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, so that's the direction I'm, I'm pretty much headed towards. So kind of a change and a twist from the can -Am, um thoughts that I originally had. Now, disclaimer, that's subject to change. If by the end of August, Can-Am releases information about their 25 model year, and that 25 model year includes uh, a lot of changes or includes something that just really catches my eye and makes me want to uh, look at things a little bit differently uh, and, make, and make another decision. So I'm still open to that possibility. I'm still open to it because if Can-Am comes out with anything crazy that's sweet and unique, I may have to go in to check it out and see what's going on. So it's a good position to be in. It's a good place to be in. I'm just trying to be patient and maintain right now. But my delays, God knows what he's doing 
Uh, and I don't ever question that. I don't work. I don't. I'm not gonna move hastily. Uh, or just, just, just out of turn. Um, Cause my initial plan was by last spring was to have something else, uh, but it didn't work out that way. Um, there was a property that I had to rehab that cost a lot of money to put money into to get that to the state where it could be sold. I finally sold that uh, in, in the early part of July, and that was like uh, a big weight lifted. It was a big weight lifted. So, um, but then I also have a son who's getting ready to go off to college in a couple of weeks. So I'm taking care of that, taking care of the sale of a property. Uh, son graduated from high school, so that was a big deal. And there was a lot of celebration around that. So just a lot of things going on in life, priorities first before all this recreational stuff. So my turn is coming up. <laughs> like I said, my milestone is next month. Uh, for my birthday, end of August. So, um, and my wife is supportive of that. So I'm going to um, do something at that point, God uh, God willing. So other than that, you all, uh, that's why you have really haven't seen me a whole lot, but I did want to make this quick video to let you all know that I still, I'm checking out for, for you content creator, creators out there who are uh, doing things on Can-Am and HD and all stuff like that. I live on YouTube anyway. I love YouTube. I would probably watch more YouTube than I actually watch TV. So, um, I see you. I see you. I see the things that you all are doing out there and it's a great thing. For those out there who uh, I met at some different bike events and stuff, I see you too. I see what you've done to your can Rikers and your can Spiders and there's some sweet, sweet things out there. Uh, a few people I met, you know, they've taken the can Spider and they flipped that 15 inch wheel those 15 inch uh, front wheels and put 17 inch wheels on there uh, with the adapters on there and it and they look hot and, and you all know who you are they've done they've done they've done great great work tremendous work out there so y'all just keep it up i see you i'm watching you i see you at different bike events even when i'm not there when i see the content online i see you um, and you all are looking good out there. You're doing great work out there. So just continue to be safe out there. Ride your own ride. And that's the biggest thing I want to say about these group rides. Because I, I was watching some, some stuff online this morning. And uh, there was one particular group ride. And within that one particular group ride, there were two different accidents. One at the beginning, one at the end. It's uncalled for. So ride airplane. I'm sorry about that. Ride your own ride, stay in your lane. When you're riding these group rides, make sure you're being attentive. Make sure you're riding staggered and if you're on three wheels. And make sure that you are just, just uh, being considerate of your speed, considerate of others, considerate of other cars uh, and, and things of that nature. It, group rides are, are tricky. Group rides can be dangerous and, and you all need to be safe. There's nothing like being involved in a wreck and you okay, which is the most important thing, but then you look over there and your, and your bike is just destroyed, something you worked hard for, for something frivolous or something that probably could have been prevented if a little bit more attention uh, and concern had been given on the front end. So, you know, in these group rides, ride your own ride. If the group ride, if you ever in a group ride, this is my advice, if you're ever in a group ride and it's too much for you or the people are acting too crazy, which has happened to me when people are acting too crazy, see you. You always can feel free and you always have the right. You possess that right to break free and leave. I've done it before. I, 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 I you know, no, I'm not riding back with you all. I'm, I, I'm headed back to the house. I'd rather be at home on the sofa editing videos and watching TV and stuff than down here in the basement uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to repair something. So ride your own ride. Be safe. Be attentive in these group rides. And don't let people push you and influence you to do things that you ordinarily wouldn't do. Like I said, you got all these different riding styles out there in, in these groups and stuff. And sometimes the mixing of it just doesn't match. So, again, I, I, I appreciate the support from each and every one of you. Comment, like, subscribe below. Tell me what's been going on with you this summer as well. I'll come back with you with some more content uh, as soon as I get some more stuff to do on these bikes and stuff. If there's something you want me to cover that I have not covered, I, I don't mind doing a video on that. But um, like I said, there's nothing really new that I'm doing to either one of my bikes. So that's why the videos have been uh, limited. But let me know what's going on with you. I appreciate you. Peace.